Hey everyone, this is Disc Junkie and today I'm here to show you a really unusual promotional box set for the movie Mad Max Fury Road. And this is something which I got off eBay, I was really lucky to get this, as I understand it, it's actually limited to somewhere between 90 and 100 copies. And uh, this was sent out exclusively as a promotional sort of screener box set to the members of the HFPA, the Hollywood Foreign Press Association, because it's one of these FYC or for your consideration box sets. You know, you basically send the movie out in order for the HFPA members to be able to view the movie because they are actually the ones who judge the Golden Globe. So this is a way for the movie companies to sort of present the movie in a very luxurious, cool fashion. So a lot of extra money and design and stuff going into these boxes which is why it's so cool when you're able to find one of these and uh, I've shown some things like this before for your Golden Globe consideration Mad Max Your Road and we got the front cover shot here and I'm uh, just gonna show you some of the stuff you can actually just read while I'm talking and what I wanted to say is that a lot of the time these box sets you know, they sort of come with this special screener DVD, which is uh, sometimes it's actually watermarked, like it's encoded with the identity of the person receiving it, like the actual HFPA member. And this is also a very big reason as to why a lot of the time these box sets just never make it on to the second hand market. Like a lot of the time, you don't actually see these on eBay. Or if you do, you basically just see the outer box and then all of the contents have actually been taken out because, you know, obviously the member who received it doesn't want his name coming out because a lot of the time the movies hasn't been released uh, on Blu-ray or DVD uh, when they are judging the Golden Globe. So that can sort of be a big problem for them if they do. But for this one, the Blu-ray and DVD was actually not watermarked, which is probably why I was able to get this in its entirety. And speaking of entirety, it's actually a little too big for you to see it all in frame at the same time. I wanted to mention that the, the flap on the end there, it's actually a magnetic seal and you'll be seeing that when I close the box back up again, but I just love that. And this, I mean, I was so stoked about getting this because this really goes back to show like the early days of DVDs for me where they would build these boxes like it's, you know, it's a cardboard box, but they build it like you know it's the it's like it's the the one thing they do with their life it's such a extremely sturdy and just heavy construct and uh, uh the quality on this is amazing and it's something that you don't really see anymore it's sort of a thing that has sort of gone away with the time i guess it's just something that they stopped doing and um, you notice that you have these little bands here which you obviously pull uh, in order to get the box it up and I was sort of thinking like why are you know it's a nice touch but why even do it but then when I got it and sort of felt this and I realized if I put this down you, you can't actually pick it up and it's such a tight fit and the corners are just uh, these are just remarkable remarkable corners so you actually really need that and this is the Mad Max anthology which was just released on blu-ray and it's also got a very sturdy slipcase like this and you know that it's sort of a lot of scratches and stuff but it's actually weathered to look that way and then you got a really nice embossing on the max at the front here and we just got the anthology and just some copyright copyright 2015 Warner Brothers Home Entertainment uh, flip to the spine there then we got the back Yes, this is actually a signature from George Miller himself. I was like, what? It's like, I didn't even know he did signatures. It's like, I, I don't know, it's just crazy. And this also would, you know, emphasize the fact that it's probably as limited as they say it is. And here's just a closer look at the anthology. Uh, you know, apart from the signature, this is like the standard box that you can buy at Amazon or whatnot. So it's not different in terms that, you know, it's not watermarked in terms of the discs or whatnot. So it's just your... Uh, typical standard Blu-ray edition except for the fact that it's been signed by one of the most remarkable directors to come out of Australia. Closer look at the back, got a barcode and all that and get some little bit of info on the special features there. It's hard to bring everything up at the same time. We got the Fury Road features in case you want to see them and then just a whole bunch of uh, credits right there. And this is the American release, I don't know if I mentioned that, but just so you know. Then we got the Blu-rays in the anthology set. First we got Mad Max, flipping it over, getting to the Road Warrior. 
then we got Mad Max Beyond Thunderdome and then we actually have Fury Road as well so this is basically sort of a double thing you got the Fury Road Blu-ray included but then you also have Fury Road included here which you know it's basically the same release in terms of the disc it's nice I don't care there is the Fury Road Blu-ray and then finally we have a completely new documentary here which is called The Madness of Max and this is a DVD and I just watched this because I was curious to see a newly made documentary on the on the franchise. This was actually a really good, uh, really good watch. Then we have this a set of art cards which I haven't actually opened. I'm actually gonna do that right now. Oh god, it's so, you know, you can't tell from this video, but usually when I review this time of year, it is so uh, incredibly cold because it's like fucking winter times and my hands are uh, sort of like turning blue actually. It's very hard to do this! Oh god. Okay, so here we have the art cards, which are printed on actually quite nice uh, cardboard. Got rounded corners and, you know, you can tell that this basically went some money into this and I'm not saying that they're expensive but I'm just you know just just saying that they are above your average quality yeah just uh, some spectacular spectacular shots for each film and I gotta say I love the fact that there's no titles on this it's just pure artwork beautiful and then we have Fury Road at the end there and on the back they're all the same just black and the copyright at the bottom just putting that back in the box and then take out the Fury Road Blu-ray there we go this is also the standard version the same you can buy in the stores and this is not actually signed it's just the anthology that was signed and this basically comes in a cardboard slipcase the weirdo American style cutout for the barcode I don't know what the hell you're thinking and here's just a close-up of the back cover. Doesn't really say much on the special features, it just says, yeah, these special features are cool. Which I don't really get, I would have really had it, you know, they'd actually be specified, but no, they didn't want to do that. And, uh, yeah, here is it for the specs, in case you can read it. Blu-ray keep case inside, exactly the same design, so we don't really have to go into it any closer. We basically just have, you know, one of these uh, ultraviolet fire things. And then we just have the uh, Fury Road Blu-ray, same as in the anthology. And then we have the Fury Road DVD, so it's just, you know, two formats, not actually two disc worths of uh, material. Just put that back in there. Lastly, we got the uh, soundtrack. Try to get this out. I hate, hate doing this on camera. It's just, or rather I hate doing this ah, in the middle of a review because my hands are so cold. All right, ah, get the plastic out of the way. All right, so here is the CD soundtrack as uh, composed by Tom Holkenberg, aka Junkie XL. Um, and yeah, here's just a look at the front. There is the spine, see if we can focus on that, no we can't. And then here we got the back with all of the uh, track titles and whatnot. And uh, yeah, there's the barcode, stapled hole through it. Yeah, just flip this open if we can, because my hands are sort of frozen. Oh, it doesn't work. Oh, yeah, because it's America, and we got to have a fucking sticker on the top. So, yeah, I'm going to break into this box, I'm going to unseal the plastic, and then it's going to be like, No! There's a fucking sticker! Okay, I'm just going to not steal this, and I'm just going to go home. This is going to be like a, a direct fucking message to President Obama. Just... Take away these fucking stickers on every DVD and Blu-ray and soundtrack CD. There's no reason for this to be here. No other country in the world has this. Why? Can There's no... Ugh. You take it off and you get, get fucking residue on it. What do I need to do? But look at this. I'm trying to review here. You put these fucking little... They don't even peel off in one piece, you know? Still, yeah, I'm using a scissor, but this is a hazard! Look at this! I could injure myself trying to open this. Fuck! Come on! Oh, I dropped the fucking scissor. Just cut here, okay? Just cut and get this thing out of the way. Plastic. Residue. Opening this up. Here we have the disc. Just take a closer look at that. There we go. Let's show you the back shot there. 
And then we got the booklet inside. Don't you just hate it when this thing is stuck on the wrong side? I still consider myself like normally intelligent, but then oh, it gets stuck on the other side as well. Fucking fold it in the middle then. I'm just gonna, not gonna spend too much time on this, so yeah. Just close up of this. Compose, then we just got artwork. We got some more credits here. Just like so. Just a quick look at all of the different panels there. Alright, so before I put everything back, I just wanted to show you the quality on this and just bring it up close and show you how extremely well made these little boxes are. The corners are to so fucking tight and it's just, they really don't make quality like this. Usually when you see big sturdy boxes in this fashion, they're not this well made actually. It's more like most of the time like back in the, I don't know if it was like the 90s or something, where they made box sets in this fashion. You would basically have this design with like the very sturdy outer uh, case, but most of the time the actual inserts, like, like these things. I mean this is ridiculously sturdy, you can't even push this down, there's like, they really put so much time and effort into making this super sturdy, which is incredible. I, I don't think I've actually seen a box this sturdy before that's made in this fashion, so absolutely remarkable. I just love this. And now I'm just gonna... Oh, well this is a B-side, I guess. Once you've taken the plastic off, this is actually not as tight of a fit. I guess that's a little bit of a problem, but just gonna have to work around that, I guess. But the Blu-ray and the anthology box actually sticks in there very tightly and works really well. So yeah, what I want to mention before, or did mention before, is that the edge is actually a uh, magnetic lock. So when you put this flap down, it actually locks in. So if you hold it like this, it doesn't actually fall off. It's magnetic, embedded into the cardboard, which I love. Just small, it's the small details that actually make this thing stand out. But uh, that's it for this video, really hope you enjoyed it, and as usual, hope to see you all next time.